Hello everyone and welcome to morning coffee break. Hope everybody's doing good this morning. I'm running a little late. Just couldn't get going this morning, you know. Uh, currently it's 71 degrees. High is a little warmer today, 90. I hope it doesn't get back like it was. Well, it will. That 90 is pretty warm with, with the, the humidity around here. Um, no chance of rain though. Humidity is 56%. Winds are at 3 mile per hour and air quality is 50. That's good in the good range. So today, and by the way, if you haven't seen it yet, check out Logan's Awesome Snack Reviews. We had a great show. Some healthy uh, snacks uh, we tried out and some good ones too. So uh, definitely check it out. And then tonight, or today, sometime today, this afternoon, uh, I'll have an Aldi haul. Um, we mainly went there because we needed uh, some items for our Father's Day dinner that we had on Sunday. And uh, uh, we got some other things, you know, while we were there. So it's, you know, like a smaller uh, size haul. Excuse me. Um, so check that out today, Aldi Hall. Last night we had uh, it's just you know usually after Logan's show, you know we've eaten a little bit. We didn't you know eat a whole lot, but you know we try all the stuff and everything, and we, it's a little late, and uh, we don't want to eat supper before the show. You know, uh, we don't want to like kind of be in a hurry or anything. Uh, so I just fixed uh, chicken nuggets, fries, and we just had some of our unsweetened applesauce. And it didn't look like, you know, it didn't look like anything special. Those six lonely nuggets sitting on a big plate, you know, and uh, it's a few fries and some applesauce. So I just didn't take a picture of it. <laughs> I remember saying that, you know, I remember saying that, you know, this don't really look that fantastic, you know. Uh, but I did make my own... Uh, I like to use this stuff here some with chicken like that. Nuggets. No, I didn't make it, but that's the name of the company, I guess. Mike's Hot Honey. This stuff is expensive, though. I got this at Walmart, but I had an Ibotta a rebate, like $1.50. But this stuff was like eight fifty, And I, I really, really wanted it. So it ended up costing me $7 still. You know, honey is high, but come on. You know, I figured, we, Logan and I were talking about it. You can take... I don't see why you couldn't take your own honey and put some hot sauce in it, like some sriracha or something like that, and make your own. This says infused with chilies, but I imagine if you put hot sauce in there, it's going to be just like it's infused. And we still got some of this honey that we got from uh, Jeff's famous beef jerky. This is some good stuff, too. I still have a little bit of Joe's honey from Joe's place. Uh, he he uh, has his own beehives and stuff. I still got a little bit of it left too. I got it in this thing here. It's in it's in this, but it's not the brand that's in here. This is what this is Joe's that he sent us. So check out Joe's place. Uh, and. So yeah, we just had, it was it was good. And I also, yeah, what I was getting at is I also made my own honey mustard. We were talking about it and we had some O'Charlie's honey mustard left that we got at like Sam's Club and it was so big, it's lasted us for like a year. And I, I looked at it and it was, it had just gone out of date a little while ago and it just seemed runny and stuff. I just threw it away, you know? And so I, Logan and I were talking. I said, you know what? I'll just make some honey mustard. So I made some with just honey and mustard. And uh, it was fantastic. Uh, so that's what we had with the... Uh, I still got a little bitty thing of it left. I put it in a little container of that honey mustard I made. We're going to start making our own. Until we run out of honey, I guess. You know, then we'll have to get some more honey, but... 
Uh, that, that was the best. Real, really good. Uh, and tonight, uh, we might get something out tonight. Um, not for sure. I, I didn't think, I didn't put anything out to thaw. And we're just, we had not been out in a long, well, since the first of the month. And it's the 21st. So, might get something out. We haven't figured it out yet tonight. So, let's do today's tidbits. Give me one more drink off my mug. Okay. By the way, we live in Tennessee. My daughter and her husband live in Ohio. And they sent me this mug for Father's Day. I love it. Okay. Garden's looking really good. Um, I got some more radishes. I've got a, about 12 radishes we need to eat uh, or roast or something. Uh, there's actually, you can look up radish recipes too. Uh, but uh, they're doing good. The beans are, they have some flowers on them now. The cucumbers have flowers on them. Of course, all the tomatoes do. And there's tomatoes up to you know, bigger than a golf ball uh, right now, so it'll take a while. Uh, I got all the onions and the carrots thinned out, but the cucumbers are growing over part of the carrots, and the green beans are growing over the lettuce. So I just, you know, you gotta watch stuff. I mean, watch what you plant around stuff that that move that uh, grows out like that like cucumbers and and green beans i could have really just not put anything but that in that one but i just don't have a whole lot of room and i really really don't want to do another uh raised bed i could use it but it's not cheap there's a lot of soil involved and soil isn't that cheap anymore and the the you know the the kit or whatever to fix it they're expensive for for uh like that last one is a metal one that's what i would use if i have if i ever had another one to, to if i had it to do over again i would have made this one in the middle uh, a steel one like that instead of wood because that's that old press stuff and one day it'll start just rotting and it'll fall apart if i ever replace it i'll use a metal one again but yeah, I'd like to have another one, but that'd be for next year anyway. And I just don't think I'm going to be able to do it. <coughs> three, I'll just have to get what I can get in three, and I, I can get plenty. But uh, this year, everything seems to be growing really robust. And it's they're moving over other stuff, you know, that I planted too close. So anyway, okay, I could I could talk about stuff like that all day. Okay, I mixed some of that Dollar Tree coffee, the one that comes in a little brick, and it's supposed to be like espresso roast or something like that. The, the little brick that you see, I forget what it's called now. I mixed it in with the um, Walmart coffee to make it last longer, and that when I bought those bricks, they were only a dollar at Dollar Tree. Cause I've had them for a long time. I bought a bunch of them. I had about six of them, I think. And now I've got like three left. So I mix it in and, you know, it makes the coffee last longer. Okay, I'll, I'll get to today's tidbits one, one of these days. Okay, strange tsunami-like tidal surges occur along Irish coast. Unusual tidal conditions cause water levels in Ireland's West Cork harbors to drop and rise dramatically in just five minutes Saturday afternoon. That would be crazy. It went on for at least an hour and a half. It caused concerns as people thought that a tsunami would occur. Experts say it happened due to fast moving weather fronts and not undersea earthquakes. Wow. Hong Kong's floating restaurant capsizes due to bad weather. The Jumbo floating restaurant 
is one of Hong Kong's most distinctive restaurants. It was towed away last Tuesday from its home in the territory's Aberdeen Harbor after 46 years. On the way, the restaurant encountered adverse weather conditions while passing the Parkle, Paracle Islands and capsized in the South China Sea. No crew members were injured. So, so it had been sitting for 46 years, no problem. The first time they try to move it somewhere, it gets capsized. That's that's kind of ironic, would you say, or something? Okay. A Psalm man delivers essentials in floating shop amid floods. <coughs> Dane Sharwar Das of Awesome India created a floating shop to deliver essentials to people affected by the devastating floods. Das was seen rowing with bamboo oars through the flooded streets with his raft made up of banana plant trunks and a small plastic table tied on top. Flooding affected about 4.3 million people in the Psalms 33 districts on Monday. Well, that was really something. That was really nice of them. SpaceX sets new record with three rocket launches in 36 hours. SpaceX has set a new record by launching three rockets in less than 36 hours, the fastest for an orbital rocket in modern space history. There was a Starlink satellite launch Friday and a Global Star satellite launch Sunday. Both took off from Florida's space coast. A Falcon 9 rocket was launched Saturday from Vandenberg Air Force Base, California. Three water spouts swirl off Alabama coast on Mobile Bay. Boy, that would look crazy, wouldn't it? I don't know if that's the real picture or if that's just some. Beachgoers in Alabama watched three water spouts dancing on Mobile Bay just off the coast of Alabama on Monday morning. There were no reports of any damage or injuries. These types of water spouts usually form during calm weather and are not associated with sun thunderstorms. They are a common occurrence at this time of year along the Gulf Coast. California braces for hotter weather, monsoonal surge. <coughs> Isn't that something? California will experience a substantial weather pattern shift with hotter temperatures and an early pre-monsoonal surge this week. Tuesday and Wednesday will, be, will likely be the hottest days of the week in most areas. A monsoonal surge is expected by Wednesday. Thunderstorms, dry lightning, and light rainfall are more likely in SoCal's desert areas. They get, they're getting some crazy weather. Okay, this is awful, y'all. I, I had to, I had to, to put it down and just to, you need to make people aware of. Don't leave anything in your car. Anything living in your car. Animals. It, I can't even think about, you know, why would you want to leave a child? But here it is. Three-month-old baby dies in hot car in Pennsylvania. You know, it's just, that just shows a picture, I'm sure. of just Caden uh, Nguyen, a three-month-old baby, died after being left in his parents' car for several hours in Pennsylvania where temperatures hit 92 degrees. The baby was found unresponsive in the minivan when authorities arrived in Upper St. Clair Thursday. The baby is a fifth to die in a hot car in 2022, with 38 children dying on average each year in the U.S. That is, you know, that can be prevented so easy. Don't leave any, any children, anybody, an old person, anybody, or anything living in your car. I don't care if you roll the windows all the way down, you know, which you wouldn't do with an animal anyway because you'd afraid it'd get out, you know, and uh, I'll tell you what, that just, it, it's very upsetting to me. But okay. NASA fuels moon rocket for first time in countdown rehearsal. I just hope they really get them. They, they really throw the book at them. You know, they, they need to. They, they cause that. Okay, NASA fuels moon rocket for first time in countdown rehearsal. 
NASA fueled its huge moon rocket for the first time Monday and went ahead with a crucial countdown test despite a fuel line leak. This was NASA's fourth crack at the all-important dress rehearsal, the last major milestone before the moon's rocket, moon rocket's long-awaited launch debut. The previous tests were thwarted by a fuel leak and other technical issues. <coughs> Temperature may hit 110s in central U.S. this week, and that's not good. A record-breaking heat wave is forecast across the south-central U.S. rest of the week. The most extreme temperatures will enter over the southern plains and lower Mississippi Valley. Highs will peak into the 90s, 100s, or even 110s in many places, raising the risk of heat illnesses. It is good to avoid strenuous activity and drink plenty of water. Yes, if you don't have to work, you know, to where you have to be out in it, and especially if you do, you know, be prepared, keep hydrated, take plenty of drinks with your buy drinks as you go. But if you don't have to be out in something like that, do not go out. Stay home. Uh, hopefully you have AC. You know, we've got it in this one room, in the family room. And uh, just hang out in there. It's just not worth it. You know, I I even go out here, you know, on the, some of those days it was like that. Uh, I felt half sick just working for about a half hour or so out there. You know, uh, the day that we mowed the lawn, it took us... Uh, like an hour and a half or something like that. And I thought I was going to die. I should have taken, I was drinking plenty. I kept water with me. I keep a bottle of water in my pocket. But I was drinking plenty, but I still was sweating so much and everything. I should have really, I wanted to get it over with, you know, but I should have taken a break halfway through and cooled down and gone back out. I really think so. Um, and if it's that hot, I'll have to do that the next time. Okay, here's, uh, this one, I like this, the way this looks. I think I'll make this into my thumbnail. Today is summer solstice. Solstice. It's a solstice. The summer solstice is also known as an estival solstice. Solstice. Or midsummer. Does it seem like midsummer already? Really? That fast? It happens when one of Earth's poles has its maximum tilt toward the sun. Solstice comes twice a year. The June solstice occurs in the northern hemisphere and the December, December solstice in the summer, southern hemisphere. The summer solstice is the longest day of the year in the northern hemisphere. You know, it was, it was light out at like 9. I mean, I could still see outside and everything about 9.15, 9.20 last night. <clears throat> so I was like whoa because I took the garbage out and I was like well, I started to turn the light on out there and uh, I said I really don't need it I can still see so all right everybody I guess that's it for today um I hope you enjoyed it make sure you watch the Aldi haul today um like I said we got several things uh couple things for what we had with our dinner uh oh the dinner was so good that, that joy fixed i i did help her a little bit but you know she really did it and uh <coughs> she wanted to do it you know she wanted to do it all and i, I said well no i don't care to help you know what i mean I, i'm not gonna just stand around you know and uh it was fantastic that steak and gravy i'd like to have that again sometime soon <clears throat> the mashed potatoes with the gravy and stuff it just goes so good with it yeah okay everybody yeah check out the Aldi haul alright everybody I hope you enjoyed this morning coffee break if you did I hope you'll press the like button also subscribe if you haven't already and share this out and hit that so you get all of my videos as soon as they come out. I hope everybody has a great day. And I'll see you later on. God bless.